out on a 15 mile training walk. Just left the village, just getting out into the uh, countryside now. So yeah, 15 miles planned. I've had about full of work last night. I've had two or three hours kip. So it's good preparation for the big, the big 100 charity uh, walk I'm doing in May. So yeah, I well, uh, thought I'd bring my camera along and uh, film a bit of the countryside. So I'll, uh, I'll crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Railway bridge. Nice little wooded area here, about three miles from my house. I've just come from. And the other side of that horizon there. Right in the sticks. Right, let me crack on now. I think I've done about three miles. Twelve miles to go. Palmer, if you watch this video, remember that building over there, that farm building? It's where we had to take refuge on one of our training walks a couple of years ago. Because it was absolutely caning it down, wasn't it? I think that's where you struggled to light a hexi block, wasn't it? I think so. I wouldn't mind doing a bit of um, farm building, wild camping. That's about the fourth one I've seen now that's all overgrown like that. Body full of rats though. So yeah, this 100 miler I'm doing, it's uh, doing it in May, May the 5th, 6th and 7th I think. Uh, starting at the uh, source of the River Thames uh, in Gloucestershire, near Kemble and Sirencester. Uh, walking 50 miles down the Thames path, following the river to Oxford and then picking up the Oxford Canal and then walking back up to where I live in uh, between Oxfordshire and Northamptonshire. Um, the charity I'm doing it for let's watch this over. is um, a kids charity, Make-A-Wish Foundation, brilliant charity, um, they grant wishes for really poorly little boys and girls. Um, you can check out some of their videos on YouTube, I'm going to link a few to my channel and I'm just going uh, to set up a Just Giving page. If any of you would like to sponsor me, um, it would go to a brilliant charity, and I'd, and I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'm going to get that set up at the end of the month, then I'll link the page to my channel. And then if you'd like to, you can sponsor me. Yeah, we're doing, doing over three and a bit days, doing 33 miles the first day, then wild camping, carrying the kit. Uh, 25 miles the next day, a 20 nine miler the third day and I think we finish off with a nice 13 miler on a Sunday morning. Back to the village for a pint. Right, I'm going to crack on. I've probably done, I don't know yet, four and a bit miles. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. Da -da. The River Cherwell. This river runs through my village where I live. It's a bit smaller than that. It's a lot bigger here. Yeah, I just saw a footpath back there. Um, Battlefield Trail. 
don't really know what that's about, what that is. I'll have to uh, bring Frankie down and have a little walk a bit. It's only uh, five or six miles from the house, and uh, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, Battlefields Trail. That'll be quite interesting. The new tree's been planted. So us peasants can't see the uh, lords and ladies, no doubt. There you go, what's this? Oh yeah. That's what that trail's all about in the Battle of Edgecut. 26th of July, 1469. There we go, a bit of local history. Should know more about it really, shouldn't I? There you go. Public right away battlefields trail. Uh, I'm up in Frankie up here. So I should really know my own local history, wouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Be nice for him to know it. Alright. Starting to rain. So just spot some. Mrs. just phoned up. Oh, she said it's sunshiny. Six miles away. All right. See you in a bit. Just having a slash, and he flew overhead. I can't get any peace anywhere, can you? Give me a little pit stop. Got me uh, drinks bottle up. Got one of these. Uh, last time I did it, I did a uh, Exi stove and noodles when I did it my last 100 mile a couple of years ago. I've got a few different stoves now, so I've been having an hour in which ones to take. I'm not liking the transier at the minute, but then I've seen these that are good easy food sausage casserole. They're uh, self heating. Pop it in there. I have a slash in it if you want to say water or fill up to that line there. I think it's only not a lot, 40 odd millilitres or something. Um, put your food in, fold it over. It takes about 10 minutes for the uh, chemical reaction to heat up. And you've got a nice warm meal, but they're quite, quite weighty. So I think I'm going to stick to the Trangia. I might take one of these for the uh, for my first day or second day. Give them a go, that's what I'm going to have today. So uh, I'll show you, show you how it works. See how we get on with it. Right, now a couple of minutes here. I'm going to crack on, so I'll see you in a bit. Oh, that was some hill. Nice view at the top, though. Let's come back for another look. Oh, I can't see him. Where's he going? Peanut butter and jam sandwich. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Spring's on its way. Absolutely cracking day. That's the village where I've just come from up there. Just past the farm actually where I got married. Right, I'm ready for this uh, sausage casserole, so I'm going to get to the next village and uh, get it down my neck. I'm starving. Uh, 10 miles in now, well 9.8, nearly 10 miles. Feeling okay. See you in a bit. Monk's Wood. We all know how that ended, don't we? Right. Let me get up to near that place there, see if there's any benches I can sit on. And I must go around. I'm going to park up against that wall, I think. Sit in the sun. Also getting a better, better than get moved on. You can't sit there. I fucking can. Right, you know, so here we go. Sausage casserole. Here's the heater pack. So we've got to open it, stick it in, add some water up to the line, fold it over, wait 12 minutes, and we're good to go. So, I'm going to get that done. Christ, should have bought me sun cream, it's absolutely baking. Right, I'm going to get this on. Right, there it is. It's fizzing away. You can hear it on it. Steam coming out of it. Whoa, looking forward to it, I'll tell you that. Right, oh, there we go. See in there or not? The sausage casserole. Well, it's hot. I've got nothing to wash up. Um, will I use it on the walk or not? I don't know. Obviously a lot heavier than super noodles. Calorie content's about the same, I think. They're a lot more expensive, so uh, but I haven't got a calorie stove, have I? Don't know. Don't know. Right, I took into this and then um, plod on. Sit in the sun for a bit, I think. It's beautiful. Right, I've left my uh, little lunch spot. I've done 10.7 miles, so just under five miles to go. Oh, I feel better now about that. You've got to get the calories in you when you're doing this mile, especially with this pack on. I've about to burn over a thousand calories today. I can't believe the day, it's beautiful. Right, 
Right, keep plodding on. Pop some pants rattling in my bag now. Right, folks, that's me nearly done. 15 miles. It's been okay, actually. Definitely need to bring lots of food with me because I've burnt, according to this app, I've burnt about 1400 calories. So, uh, I thought we got empty. Um, thanks for sticking with me. My next video will probably be the fire and ice challenge that um, Wild Ginger Bruce is doing for his giveaway. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks Dale Skidmore for nominating me, I might see if the uh, Zippo kid fancies helping me, I'm sure he will, um, yes that'll be my next bit, uh, fire and ice challenge, I don't know how many uh, subscribers Ginger Bruce got now, I think it's 700 coming up, we're over now, so well done to him, and yeah he's a uh, cracking prize he's giving away. Yeah, looking forward to entering that. Right, just down this hill and I'm home. 15 miles done. So I'll see you in the next one, folks. Ta-da.